Good morning folks, it's Harry Swaminathan. It's May 16th, 5.35 a.m. and um, looking at the pre-market, uh, the S&P futures seem to be down about a point and a half. Wanted to uh, just check a couple of our trades. The Amazon is, uh, is doing okay, we don't need to worry about that. Um, Amazon was down slightly yesterday. But uh, what I'm looking at is the Google trade. So the Google is a bear put. It's, we've got a long at 820 and short at 800. And obviously Google's been charging up. It's been just unbelievable how Google's been going up. Um, so you can see we have a, uh, the 800 short put obviously is doing well, but we have a loss of about $2,000, almost $2,000 on, uh, uh, on this trade. So the adjustment um, I'm thinking of is something like this. What we have is the 800, uh, the 820, uh, 800 bear put. So this is what our position is. Uh, Google's right now, right here, we're showing a loss of uh, about $2,000. So um, looks like the bullish uh, tone in Google is just uh, amazing. So what we want to do is to turn this um, bear put into a bull put. So basically what I'm going to do is buy back our 800 and then sell the 840. So it'll become an 840, 820 bear put. So once I put this on, this is what it looks like. So we'll convert it into a bear put uh, and net if uh, as long as Google is above uh, 840, uh, what our profit will be is 1250 on this trade. So obviously this is a trade now again where we are where we want to come up um, uh, come up or come to break even because uh, uh, Google's been going down. Uh, I mean uh, Google's been going up. So this is uh, this is the adjustment I'm thinking of. I'll be putting it um, at the market open and we'll convert it into a bull put and with the short strike at 840. So that's what this looks like. So basically what we'll do is we'll uh, you know we'll make a total profit of 1250 uh, after uh, accounting for everything, after accounting for the entire transaction on 800, uh, 820. So this will be the net profit at the end of the day. Uh, if Google is above 840 by uh, the July expiry. So that's what we're looking at for Google on LinkedIn. And like yesterday, I, I switched it to a 170, 160 because uh, LinkedIn also looked like it was going up, but it gave back some of its gains. Uh, I booked uh, a $1,700 profit on um, when we closed the 150, 145. So right now I have a little high positive delta. So I'm uh, going to be a little concerned about that. So let's see how we can um, bring this positive delta down a little bit. So my sense is what I'm going to do is uh, probably add on to the uh, 210, uh, 220. So for example, let's go to LinkedIn and see how we can do that. Uh, what we have is this right here and it's actually closer to our um, closer to our um, uh, bear call. I mean uh, the bull put. But you can see the margin on the on this side is much lower. So we do have room to uh, put uh, give it a negative delta by adding a bear call and still not increase margin. So let's go look at the uh, LinkedIn chain. And what we have in LinkedIn is on the June expiry. So if we looked at a, say the 205, and we sell a vertical, um, this would be 205 to 10, let's do 205 um, to 20. And that still gives us, um, okay, so a positive of 121 is uh, would be okay. If we looked at the risk profile, let's see what that looks like. So now we go a little bit more on this side. That's okay. Um, you know, we want to we want to make sure we're maximizing the opportunity from uh, this trade. So, and I'll probably put on this one as well. So those are the two trade adjustments uh, that I'll be putting on Google and LinkedIn and Priceline we're just going to watch some more and uh, not take any action right now. Thanks.